so that first little clip you've seen, we were over this morning checking out a sale of cattle that was going on in Carnaross Mart. Uh, that's Carnaross County Meath. So, yeah, went over to check it out. It was mostly uh, short horn, some very, very good, well bred short horn uh, pedigree cattle. Uh, some really good short horn lines, blood lines, breeding lines uh, that was for sale, but there was also some commercial. Uh, some commercial cattle as well so uh, we went over to see what there was see if there was anything that, was, that would suit us because we have got some cows that are in for fattening for one reason or another the ones that uh, with different issues whether it be lameness uh, slow to go in calf and uh, lack of milk so there's a few different reasons why we have some of them in and we want to get some replacements in for those so we went over to see what there was uh, checked them out, wrote down some numbers and came home and went online to do some bidding. So that's what we've done. We've done some bidding. We've purchased some animals. We're just heading over now to pick them up. We need two jeeps and trailers to take home what we bought. So I'll see what footage I can get on the way over and over there and we'll have a look at them uh, probably when we get them home. But yeah, see what we've got. All right, so we're just back into position. This is our crew here. Ready for loading. So we get them loaded. on the road loaded up no issues at all which is great uh, but yeah it's gonna take us a bit longer to get back home we're about we're about an hour away anyway because it is a twisty enough road here between Kells and Dundalk so yeah we're about an hour away it'll probably take us close on an hour and a half to get home uh, we're just going to take our time just so that uh, nothing happens to cows and calves so yeah, we would long to get home, but don't mind that, we'll just take our time. Uh, once we do get home, we will be offloading them. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of treating on the cows. We're treating to give the cows that are getting out, out the grass. So we'll do that before we head for the field. And then one of them will be staying in uh, for a little bit. And uh, yeah, you'll see why once we're there. So uh, yeah, we'll do a quick look at them once we're back in the yard. Alright, so the first cows are off the trailer. Uh, three cows and two calves on this trailer. So, two cows here have both calved. Uh, this Nia has yet to calve. She's due to calve now in the next three weeks. So, we have four cows in there that are still due to calve. She's going to get with those. And uh, these two here, along with the three cows and calves that I have on my trailer, uh, they're all going to get vaccinated and they're going straight to the field. So, yeah. That's what we're going to do now. We're going to put them up the, up the crush, vaccinate these here. They'll be loaded back on. This one's going in the shed, and we'll be letting my trailer then back, and we'll offload it and vaccinate them as well, and get them uh, to the 
to our own cows and then also but uh, they'll be running straight with the bull so get them in get them in calf straight away uh, hopefully in the next number of weeks he'll he'll bull them and get them into calf so lovely cows they're all four or five star cows some of their calves heifer calves are also uh, high star rating calves and yes the idea is that the cows we've in for fattening these are going to replace the cows are going to here are going to replace them and they'll be higher starred cows star rating cows so they will suit for uh for the circular scheme as well so that is the the idea in purchasing these here but yeah some lovely cows and calves at the sale and uh yeah very happy with the, the purchases we've made so get these vaccinated and we'll walk on uh, we'll walk on the other trailer getting it back in and we'll get them done as well and get them out with the bull. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, come 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 on. Okay, the vaccines. So what are we doing the, everything for? Well, the calves, which you can see Dad doing f them here at the minute, they're all getting a black leg vaccination. All our own calves are done with that. And we don't know if these were done. They possibly will, but we're going to do them again anyway, just to be on the safe side. Um, so yeah, that's what they're getting done with. The cow that is in calf that has to calve, she is done with uh, the Rotovac vaccination for scour. And the other five cows, they're all done for, you can see me just taking the stickers off some of them. Uh, they're all done for uh, BVD. So they're getting with the bull, we're doing with the, with the BVD vaccine just to be on the safer side with that. We've had no BVD in years and years, for six, seven years. All right, that's the vaccinations complete. We're just heading down now to the field and uh, hopefully it's not too wet funny feeling we could end up sticking to the axles here but we'll see very soon we've had two good drying days so maybe just maybe it might be dry enough let's see not too bad so far but we're just getting to the wet spot now so we know quite shortly the cows are alerted that there's a trailer moving i was down slurrying here during the week so uh there is tracks down to it but it seems to have dried well enough uh, the cows they're well alerted seen the trailers coming and they were running towards the gate there so there'll be a meet and greet going on by the time we get there well they're not supposed to be out here you're okay Kathy. Come on, guys, come on, 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 girls, come on. Come on. She's very eager to see what's going on. Stay there, Black. Come on. Come on, girls. 
Come on. Come on, girls. Yep. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yep. Come on. Okay, so just a quick look at the cows and calves just after I let them out. Now they were kind of all over the place. It was just you can see the world just coming back up towards me here, and I just switched the camera on and took a wee bit of footage of them. The new arrivals kind of had them out of kilter. They were running around the place, and the whole meet and greet was in full flight. So uh, to, taking the footage just wasn't the easiest uh, because they were they were just all over the field. But usually when you go out, they, they come on, come and stand and just look at you, you know. But uh, cows and calves, since they got out, have been doing very well. Uh, calves, no issues whatsoever with any calves. No sicknesses, no nothing, which is great. Uh, but I, I'm going to do a whole... I think I'll do a video on cows and calves and the herd over the coming days because I could do a full, uh, I could do a full video on that, no problem, just talking about them and... Uh, how things is going and uh, you know different things with the with the circular herd so i think i'm going to do that uh but yeah look at happy with how they're doing biggest issue we've had since getting out is like everybody else the weather po poaching the ground we are quite lucky in that this ground is quite dry but even still it's just been a bit of a struggle but yeah uh happy with how they are doing all right, so that was a busy day, you know, between going over this morning to check out the, the cows, pick out the ones we want. We were probably over there for nearly two hours, I'd say, uh, going through all the pens and, and just seeing what there was. Uh, we got, drove back home, like an hour to come back home. Uh, we had a cup of tea, sat down at the iPad, then the sale just had started. Uh, bought whatever cows we were going to buy. Didn't miss out on some, bought some. It's just how the, the whole thing rolls. And then... Uh, a bit of fertilizer spread so i finished that and we went over and picked them up and back and then you've seen what we were doing then i'm just finished feeding there literally and it's like half eight or after half eight in the evening so it was a busy day uh, but a worthwhile day so another week another box has arrived but this time uh, this isn't a gift this time it is something that i purchased uh, so purchase something from Sandy and Laura Whitehead in Scotland. They watched me on YouTube, which I didn't know at the time when I was uh, doing the deal and purchasing this, but they, they mentioned then after they did watch me. So uh, we done a deal for something that they had got for sale. Okay, just to mention, uh, for sale might be a push. <laughs> it wasn't actually for sale. Uh, I seen a Facebook post where Sandy was showing his very nice a 50 series deal with two nice shiny new items on it and he'd done it before and after and i seen on the before that he had an the one of the items he had replaced was what i was looking for for my tractor so i messaged him and asked him would he be interested in selling it or was it for sale and we done a deal for it so it a for seeing it for sale is a push so just to correct that <laughs> Let's see now if we can get it out and uh, yes Something that you know, I'm on the lookout for a while for. It is a mirror for the 3650. So one of the original mirrors that's of the 3650. So needs a little bit. We'll just put it out here and put it sitting down. Uh, needs a wee bit of a refob, but not not very much. It's very very good. Uh, the powder coating usually goes on them which it's starting to just go in a few places so we'll get it cleaned down we'll do the powder coating on it and uh, we'll take out the extendable uh, mirror arm bit of it and we'll send that away and we get that idolized and get it all refobed as well a uh, small little wee bit of play here on this which is very much normal uh, so if there's something we need to build up there we can do that or if we need to get a new uh, there's a little like a little grommet or a little Oh, a little screw that screws in and tightens everything up. Maybe it's just loose. Uh, maybe there's a wee bit of wear in it. We can sort that out easily enough. But it's very, very good. It can match in exactly with uh, one of the ones on the tractor. So I have the I have the right hand one. No, sorry. If you're looking straight at the tractor, I have the left hand one. Uh, but the right hand one, I got a, a 6000 series mirror. You can't actually get these ones anymore. So you have to look second hand for them. So sometimes they can be quite quite hard to get sometimes not it just depends uh, but 
The 6000 one, they're probably a better mirror, but I like more or less to keep it fairly original. All right, I haven't got the correct pickup pitch on my 3650, but uh, apart from that, it's pretty much fairly uh, original. So I'll take the mirror that's on it off and we'll do the two of them together and we'll be popping them back on. Uh, the only thing I need is, this is the original mirror glass uh, and mirror back and it is in very good condition. I need another one of those because the one that I have on it is just like a spurious one. It's not uh, it's not really a good one. So I'm going to be happy to look out for one of those. Uh, but I haven't done anything on that yet. But if anyone knows where there might be one of these original ones, give me a shout out and let me know. But yeah, uh, thank you to Sandy and Laura uh, for sending it over and doing uh, the deal and doing everything with me. So I'm absolutely thrilled with it. And uh, yeah, big thank you for that. So that's it for today's video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the cows. Uh, we're very happy with them. I think they're. Uh, it, it was a day's work well spent today uh, picking them up because they're 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 six smashing cows, and four of the five calves is heifers, and the four of them are eligible to be replacements as well. So uh, going forward, it's another four replacements for for some of our older cows. So yeah, have delight with them. Absolutely delighted with them. But let me know what you think of them. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Don't forget, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit the sub button. Uh, ring the little bell beside the sub button, because if you do that, it gives you notification every time I post a video. It costs you nothing to do that, but it does help the channel if you can do it. Also, leave a like in the video if you enjoyed the video. Comment if you have any comments to make uh, about anything, or if you have any questions to ask. Uh, all these things help the channel, and I appreciate it if you can do it. So, that's it for this week's video. Uh, we will be back next week. I think we will be doing some silage prep at some stage during this week. And if we are taking some stuff out or getting stuff ready, I'll record the antics of that. A uh, couple of weeks away still silage, I'd say maybe three weeks away. But we we'll to start getting some prep done on that. Uh, and yeah, it's always a, a good time of the year, silage. Uh, whatever the weather's going to be like for it, it could be a totally different thing. Anyway, see you next week. Take care. Have a good week.